CSGO investing can be quite expensive, so today we're breaking down the top cheap investments for you to check out. Now the first area is the Paris paper stickers, and for this we're going to want to look at Stockholm and Antwerp to see what worked out successfully there. If we look at Antwerp, we can see that although it was a mix from all capsules that ended up being quite expensive, there was really only three or four that ended up at a decent return. If we want to look at Stockholm, we can see that there was actually no legends there, which is quite an interesting predicament. Skinswap is today's sponsor, and they're also sponsoring you with a free bonus for signing up with the first link in the description. They're the premier place for CSGO and Rust skins, with a massive trading site and a top-of-the-line marketplace, offering you the most competitive rates out there and a massive 40% bonus when you're using that link in the description. Combine that with their top-of-the-line selling feature with many payout options and their trading feature legitimately taking you just about a minute and there's no reason not to sign up with that first link in the description. Now this comes back to the fact that the Stockholm Legends capsule was significantly more supplied than the other two, leading for it to have a lower price point and be unboxed significantly more. Now taking a look at the 10 fewest paper stickers listed on the market, just because these are the ones that people are the most hesitant to sell, we can then break them down by if they have an alternative, which in my opinion is probably not going to be the most optimal way to invest just because you're not going to have sole ownership of the demand for that sticker. From there, we can break them down into how many have been sold so far, and we've got our rankings 1 through 10, and as we can see, even though Navi comes in at number 2, it's got the 8th fewest listed on the market. The one I really want to point out is Mao's. I feel like it's quite obvious that the Mao's paper sticker is probably going to end up being quite expensive, however at a 12 cent price point you're really going to be struggling to turn a significant amount of profit in my opinion. If we want to look at the paper stickers that succeeded, they all started off at 3 cents, and that's exactly what you're going to need to happen if you want to make a profitable investment. Combine that with the fact that the ones that actually did quite well all had some sort of unique factor to them. And don't forget to go ahead and check out the actual application rates. As we can see here, Navi is the highest, but it's closely followed by Nine and Fnatic, whereas if we want to look at something like Mouse, it's a little bit lower, and Into the Breach is extremely low. This is very useful data to have if you're looking to make an investment. After that, I would say make sure you check out cases. Now, there's two different routes. Active duty cases are actually on the table here, and this is the one situation where active duty cases might possibly be something you might want to pick up, and that's because active duty cases statistically increase the most when we see a very large hype towards the game, and if you believe CS2 is going to bring a very significant hype back to the levels that we saw previously or a similar amount, it could be an opportunity to spring on some active duty cases. Look at the snakebite case, currently it's down about 70% from its all time high, but it went up about 680% when we saw the CS2 hype release. I don't think this is going to happen word for word, but I think it's very possible we could see an increase in this area, although it's not something I'm going to be doing because it's extremely risky. Otherwise, talking about rare cases, I consider a cheap case under a dollar. There's a lot of great options here. We can look at the Prisma 2 and the Danger Zone, which would personally be ones that I would check out just because they're the two front runners for their rare special item. Prisma 2 is unboxed a decent amount more than the Prisma 1 currently, and the Danger Zone is unboxed a significant amount more than the Horizon, although the Horizon is definitely a little bit older. Otherwise, even though it's got a massive supply, the Clutch Case might be another area for you to check out just because it's got one of the most demanded rare special items in the current market, and the Revolution case is still fairly more expensive than it currently, which is going to be the only competition for that rare special item. Wanted to keep the section about cases short because I got a full video and we're looking for a little bit more unique investments, but make sure to check that one out. After that, just because we are talking about cheap investments, we gotta throw Paris capsules in there. 25 cents is a really strong price point for a possibly great investment. Now the biggest thing when we're talking about major capsules is the fact that they are consumable and the supply will only go down. However, if you believe that the supply is going to be too massive, I wouldn't fault you for not investing into this area. I still think, personally, there's a lot of potential with this just because the ROI has shown to be such a strong indicator of the fact that these stickers are heavily in demand, but that just could be because investors are pumping them up. There's a lot of caveats that come with this area, and no one's truly going to know what's going to happen until we actually see them removed from the shop, in which case it's going to either explode or implode, and we're going to have to wait and see until then. After that, we're going to be looking at gray skin from collections. These are the past three operations, Shattered Web, Broken Fang, and Riptide, and we're going to be looking at the collections inside of them, and specifically the gray skins. Now for these ones, the two most popular are probably going to be either the Control Collection from Broken Fang, or the 2021 Mirage from Riptide. Talking about the Shattered Web collections, they're really good, but they're also really expensive, and most of them have already seen their explosion in growth, which is exactly what we're trying to capture, first up with the Control Collection. Now the Control Collection is a little iffy for me, because it has the blue phosphor, which 
which is absolutely amazing. However, the covert item is the Op Fade, which is one that has never really been too popular. And if we want to look at the amount out there, there's 11,000 of them, which is really high for a covert op. Looking at the 2021 Mirage collection, it's not that much better, as there's still 7 to 8,000 of them. This one's a little bit more desirable, and the good news is you do have a lot of people that are interested in this just because of the way the float value works. But overall, for collection grays, in my opinion, I still think there's a lot better options here than these ones. I don't really think collection grays as a whole is the area I would personally put my money into, but you can definitely do that if you're feeling confident in this area. Now, the next area is what I call the hidden gems. These are going to be items that aren't super expensive, but have a pretty low supply. And the first area is the Riptide Surf Shop stickers. Now, these ones are going to be really interesting because a lot of them look actually quite good and are not too expensive. Now, we're not going to be able to focus really on the hollows because those are quite expensive, but a lot of the regular stickers like the Fish Collection and some other collections actually look relatively decent and are usually sitting at around 20 cents. But the best part about these is a lot of them blew up substantially in price when the CS2 hype came out and there was actually a lot of interest in this area. I think it's very possible that once the interest comes back to this area, we could see a lot of these stickers go from 20 or 25 cents up to 75 cents or 80 cents, provided there is some actual interest in this area. Now, when you're trying to find something like this, a hidden gem, there's a couple areas you need to look. And the first of which is you need to make sure that they have some sort of unique factor about them. They need to have something that people want and are not able to find in something else super easily. This is why a lot of operation stickers are usually the first area that I potentially look for this. The second thing is you need to make sure that they have a cutoff supply. We can't be buying something from a sticker capsule that's sold by Valve because those are going to be continually growing in quantity just because you can always go to the shop and buy them for 99 cents. And the third thing is you need to find something that's at least relatively cheap. You're probably not going to be the first to the party, but you need to make sure you're not buying an item that's already gone up six or 700 percent in the past couple of months because then you're extremely late and you're probably on the downfall of that item honestly speaking. However, what is the actual best cheap investment you could make? Well, in my opinion, I think there's my top three. The first of which is going to be those paper stickers we mentioned in the beginning, but the possibility to have a six or seven hundred percent increase of a three cent item that potentially you could buy cheaper depending on your currency is just way too good for so many people to pass up, myself included. After that, cases and capsules, I'm going to group them together. These are just such a safe, solid investment investment that most of the time if you hold them for long enough you're going to be making a decent amount of profit provided you actually made a good investment choice in the beginning and the third is definitely going to be those hidden gems of maybe the riptide sticker maybe whatever sticky you come up with but there's just so much potential in this area because not many people are looking and when the supply is so low if the interest comes over there even just for a little bit you're going to be able to make a significant amount of money relatively quickly or at least that's how it is in my opinion but that's all i got i want to thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a great rest of your day